Hey everybody, today we need to talk about a problem. And we need to talk about this problem because we need to talk about it to Torn Banner in order to solve the problem. And the problem is really simple. After nearly a full year after release, console players are finally getting a server browser so they can play on server browser servers with PC players. Proper crossplay. Now the one thing that PC players in the server browser had that consoles did not have at all were dual servers. Now with this said, why do you think they would make the decision to separate dual servers from PC and console after adding a server browser? I know why they're doing it, but it totally also defeats the purpose. And the reason they're doing it is simple. Dual servers are run on community respective rules. You don't run around and you kill random people. You don't just, you don't just kill people. You don't just attack people. They sort of require you to communicate with the other person. Console players do not have a text chat, nor do I really think they could. I'm not gonna be honest. I don't think there's any way to fix that. And because of this, there really is no way to enforce rules like don't attack random people. It's just not feasible. So the problem we're running into is simple. If they let console players join PC dual servers, those dual servers are going to be next to unplayable. People will just ruin them. Not all console players for sure, but it's gonna happen. And the problem with that happening, by separating it like this, you're not actually solving the problem. You're kind of just masking the problem because now console dual servers are the ones that it will be unplayable. PC dual servers will be the exact same, but now console dual servers just won't work defeating the point of having them, and then just nobody wins. PC and console players still can't play the game together very uh, very well, and they can't duel each other. And it's really a lose-lose scenario for Torn Banner at this stage, because they can't just add it, it'll ruin it for everybody, and they can't not add it because it defeats the whole point of adding it to begin with. Really, what Torn Banner should be doing is making the dual game mode from Chivalry 1, that'd be a good idea, instead of what we have here. Now look, I'm all for, like, the dual yard atmosphere. I think it, there's a lot of fun to be had, but as far as, like, a game mode goes, I really think they should just add a dual game mode like Shiv 1 had. I mean, that one worked fine. It was a little bit slow, you could speed it up a little bit, but it, it worked fine. And instead, we're here. So we need an answer. We need an answer that they at least hear the problem. We need to solve the problem. I mean, honestly, I don't think a lot of people are going to be joining dual servers from console anyway, and I'm pretty sure the ones who will, they might understand the rules, but the problem is when somebody doesn't and they just randomly join. I don't know what the right answer is, honestly. I, I'm, I can guess what the right answer is. I can speculate all I'd like, but I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. And furthermore, while I'm here talking about this issue, I might as well just throw in the issue of matchmaking servers and server browser servers being separate. Because they are separate, if you weren't aware. Uh, the servers that you get into when you click on the play button are not the same as the ones in the server browser. You can't just join through the server browser and connect to somebody who clicked on the play button. Th again, there's potential reasons for this, but ultimately it's kind of harmful to do it this way and it also makes things more complicated because what if your friend is just like hey i want to join your game you got to back out and you've got to try to make the party system work and that's assuming the party system is even capable of working with you because you might just be on two different platforms when it comes out on steam there's that's going to be another set of platforms so now steam players and epic players can't play together console players can't play with other console players or pc players and now everybody's just relying on the matchmaking server and it sucks and if you go into the server browser only well that also kind of sucks just just mix them i don't i mean maybe I, i'd like an answer on why they won't mix them they haven't at the very least if i got an answer that'd be nice but what do i know i don't know nothing i'd like to hear some of what people's opinions of this issue are please talk about it go talk to other chivalry players about it go on reddit or discord i don't care talk about it in game who cares just tell torn banner that you don't like it T talk to torn banner they have made changes before no most notably when they wanted to nerf them all and hopefully they make changes here as well thanks more videos coming soon working on the chivalry 2 review uh that'll be soon take care